Well, greetings, math person. Now, don't be afraid to learn from your mistakes. This question that you sent in uh, really didn't have enough information to solve anything, but it uh, reminded me of problems which used indirect measurement and similar triangles to find some unknown height. So I set up something that I think may have been similar to what your actual problem was. We have a young man over here who's 5.5 uh, feet tall. We have a tree here that's an unknown height. And we're going to use indirect measurement to find that height. Well, let's say that the sun is shining uh, and at this angle, and the tree is making this long shadow like this, and the young man is making a shorter shadow like this, but the angle of the sun is the same for both the tree and the young man. So what we end up with is similar triangles, young man making a right angle with the ground, a tree making a right angle with the ground, the sun making a equal angle, a shared angle for both uh, the shadow of the young man and the shadow of the tree. So we have a little right triangle and a big right triangle. That allows us to set up a proportion, which is a fraction equal to a fraction. Uh, our first fraction is the young man's 5.5 feet and his shadow length of 10. The second one is our unknown height of H. That's the tree. We don't know the height of that yet. And the shadow length of the tree, which is 10 feet plus 26.4 feet to make uh, 36.4 feet. So when you have a proportion, you can count on the cross products being equal. In other words, 10 times H, which I wrote here as 10 H, is equal to 5.5 times 36.4, which appears here as 200.2. That equation can be solved because this is 10 times h. To reverse 10 times h, we'll divide both sides of the equation by 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1, giving us 1 h. 200.2 divided by 10 is about 20. It's not exactly 20 because of that 0 0.2 over there, but it's about 20. If we were going to go to the nearest foot, uh, we would call the height of the tree, in this case, 20 feet. All right. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something there. And don't forget, you're a math person, and don't be afraid to learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm.